Do you have any children? I have five. Five kids. How old are your kids? 24, 18, 19, 8, and 6. Y'all about to stay man? Yes. Why did y'all get married? You got five kids together. At the time, I just didn't feel like he was ready and I didn't want to be obligated. The they're a single mom that because their family. opinion is more important than being with the person that they had kids with. That's his fault. It's not her fault. No, if you're a woman and you want to keep the man that you had a baby with, you have to bow down. You have to bow down. You are not in charge here. What are you talking about, Corey? You have You're to bow to down. You're trying to make I have always said that in order for you to secure a man, when you're a single mother, you have to over deliver in submission. You have to over deliver in what you are getting because you are in a challenging position in the market. What kind of man are you looking for, honey? Financially stable, at least 75, 80,000. Would you date a guy that made less than 80K or no? I would hang out, but that's not like someone that I can see providing and taking care and raising a family with. Your child's father made 80K or more, correct? He made about 50, 60. Okay, so he didn't make more than 80K, but now the requirement would be 80K. Of course, it would have to be. Oh, tell me why. You know what the struggle is, uh, dealing with a man that only grows a certain amount. If you add it up, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be out my bracket, but I just feel like, yeah. That you're requiring more than what you have. Well, I make, yes. Okay. To a man listening to you, not only do I have to make seventy to eighty thousand dollars a year more than the last man you dated, more than you, but I have to be willing to take responsibility that's not mine. Now, what women are going to say in this case is that no, no, I can raise my kids. There's no responsibility, and that's even worse because what you're saying now is that I get to come here and be a passenger in my own car. I get to be a visitor in my own house and these kids need to run the house and I can't even say nothing to them. Ma'am, this is why you're single because you have not realized what has happened in this world that has put you in this position and it's your poor decision making. And now that you're in the ninth inning, you got two batters out, you have no one on base and you're down by four, you're here trying to hit a grand slam and it's not gonna happen to the number one demographic on my show with single moms that are now looking for a different type of guy than their child's father. He was tall, he was attractive, he had swag, he had money. I had a baby by him. So now the single moms are more focusing on looking for this guy, the good guy, the nice guy. But now they realize that's what's most important because they have children and they want someone that's gonna raise their kids by the guy that had the big penis and that was tall and that doesn't wanna be in a relationship. But you are misusing your vagina. Why should Ray Ray jump to the equation and become Prince Charming when you let Pookie have the vagina for chicken? And your vagina should only Go to the man that wants the things that you desire. Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. Also, the issue of not being married and you saying that you have your reasons. Ma'am, we know why you're not married. Somebody put five babies in you, either somebody or multiple men. If you have five kids and you haven't been married, the issue is that somebody did not want to marry you. Somebody did not deem you suitable to be a wife. Somebody did not think that you were deserving of carrying their legacy in a legitimate way. Now, I do not agree with this situation at all. I don't think men should be making babies out of wedlock, but also women, you are the key holders of sex. I don't care what people say, unless they took it from you, you're giving it out. But you come sit here full of all this cappage saying that you have your reasons and you don't want to go any deeper than that. The reason is that man wasn't going to marry you. The reason is that that man, well, you knew he wasn't suitable. You knew he was a Pookie or a Ray Ray, but he excited you. He excited you. And what you thought was you was going to take Tupac and you thought you could fix him up and put him in a corporate office. Every woman thinks this and it never happens. It never happens. It never happens the way you want. What you want is Tupac in a suit and Tupac didn't wear suits. Tupac was thug life. And you have to make your decision, ma'am. And you made your decision. And now the men of virtue, the men of status, the men of means, they're not going to deal with you. It's over. It's over. I find it really stupid when I see men trying to make it a point that single mother standards are way too high. But wouldn't you think that a good mother or a good woman period would want the best for her children? So you best believe that my standards are going to be through the roof. At this point, my standards are so high, I think I'm looking for Jesus Christ himself. If you want to mess with me on that type of level, you need to prove to me why you are worthy of my time and why you are worthy 
to be in my child's presence on a consistent basis. So if you come into my life, you should be making things easier, not harder. Because as a single mom, our standards about triple prior to. I already had high standards and then I now you bring my daughter into the thing and like no one's good enough. On top of standards, time. As a single mom, we have little to no me time. So if I'm going to invest the small amount of me time I have into someone else and you waste it, done. Now let's be honest here, ladies. You're both very cute, but your attitude is piss poor. For a guy like myself, without kids, and on my way to greater things, opportunities, and access to a better network, why would men like myself deal with a combative type A personality like yourselves? Men now have the world at our fingertips with our passports in hand. Not only can we date here in the United States and the Western world, but we now can even go to Latin America, to Africa, to Asia, to find girlfriends and wives there. You're making demands from a disadvantageous position. And here's a reminder to all you men out there, if you have the world at your fingertips, do not let these women who have outrageous demands with multiple disadvantages to leverage her thoughts, her worth over you because you are more valuable with what you got going on in your life than deal with stubborn, arrogant, snobbish, naggy ladies like this. There is no real reason to tell a man you have children unless you plan on a long-term relationship with him in the future and he's already in love with you. He won't care. I don't tell people I have kids because there's so many predators out there. I have to be careful and protect myself and my children. I trust you now, so I told you now. That's all you gotta say. And it'll work, believe. But women that all just wanna tell people every little single detail about their lives are just setting themselves up to be used. So leave out as many details as possible if you wouldn't go to a job interview and say all these things and spewing out all your business, don't say it to a man, okay? Don't do it. See, now it doesn't help women like Shira Seven and Sprinkle Sprinkle is out here telling women to lie if they have kids or not. Now I can understand the reasoning that she lists, but if you're going to build a relationship on a foundation of lies, what it sounds like to me is she's attempting to get the ladies out there to listen to her message, to emotionally manipulate men, getting them to commit their time, resources, and mental energy into that woman and possibly her offspring. And if things go south and sour, then write to the cleaners to divorce, alimony, and possibly, in addition, child support. You got a better chance with an old ran down that ain't never had <laughs> shit, ain't never seen shit. It's about quality. Don't yeah. nobody say nothing. What's the quality? Quality, okay. quality, it's some quality ran down. This is just, they really have never seen nothing. Man. It's out here, if you bought them a new car off the lot, they will. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if you take on a trip, I was about quality on the look on side of the game. Nah. I have yeah. never been on a plane to go anywhere, so yeah. that'll blow their minds too. It's, it's some bum you bitches. They it never is. had shit. You could tell. one way or another been caught up in a situation where they never came up. Now, if you rich and you take that bum and do something with her, you will be appreciated more by. It comes from nothing and ain't got nothing. Being a stepfather is something that's looked down upon in many of the minister circles. Uh, me personally, I believe that every man has to make his own decision what to do with his life. And if he feels like he is in a position where, especially if he's divorced and has a couple of kids, he wants to combine a family Brady Bunch style, then who am I to say no? However, there was a time when stepfathers were looked upon in the society, in the community, as great men. For instance, during the Vietnam era, uh, a lot of men didn't come home to their families. A lot of men came home very changed where they just weren't able to maintain a family structure. Uh, a lot of men fell victim to drugs and that person who came in to that family was looked upon as more of a saint and definitely a savior of the family and what would they do without him? That person was put at the head of the household. That person was respected and uplifted by the entire family and not looked at as a resource to drain, but looked at as the foundation, the new foundation to build a house upon. I remember growing up in the early 80s and a lot of folks saying, hey, you know, I'm very happy to have this man in my life uh, because he's teaching me the right way. Hey, y'all. 
It's officially stepdaddy season. Yeah, what up? I got the car seat in the back. Let's go to the park. <laughs> in conclusion, stepdaddy season. Big aura, big lumber, big follow through, need only a fly. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, when are y'all gonna tell me they started growing stepdaddies on trees? What in the devil? Where are y'all at? I need to get there. Look at that. Um, ladies, why are you putting up with bull They're growing stepdaddies on trees now. And ladies, I gotta tell you out there. You see that whole stepdaddy season stuff falls on men's deaf ears a lot because they know something. They know something that you, you, you're going to tell them straight up and down. Single mom, my kids will always come first. So why is he so? Why is he even supposed to come into your household? Single mom, my kids are my world. So how is he going to come in there and put some structure? Obviously, you don't have no structure. If you have structure, you, you, you wouldn't be needing that check under the house. Because nobody buys this, I don't need a man, I want a man. No, 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 no. When you sitting there saying, look at them growing stepdaddies on the line like that. When they, when you have clips like that, we know what you need, ma'am. You know, we can see the comments when you say it, it, it smells like benefits and stability. We know exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for somebody to come in and save you. You're looking for somebody to save you, to be a captain, to be a Mr. Cake, a Mr. Sempaducious. That's what you're looking for. But you're not looking for a leader. You're looking for someone to follow you. And this is why it's more and more difficult for you to get into stepdaddy season. But ladies, you're gonna have to put in a lot more work if you are a single mother, because what happens if you get into a relationship or want to pursue a relationship with a man of value, a high value man, a high earner, a man with means, a single man, a man without children. What are you actually really bringing to the table? Except more mouths to the table for that man to have to feed. Now, ladies, you're going to have to lower your expectations and get rid of your unrealistic standards. Or better yet, a solution I can provide for you is finding a man with kids. But then again, you'll always get back into the same predicament if that man with kids is a man of value, a high value man, a high earner and all the other things I've already mentioned before. You will still have to do more than is expected to retain a man with means and resources that can help elevate, uplift, transform, and support your life and your children's lifestyle into the future and beyond. At least with this marriage thing, you can he could protect himself from her. He can never protect himself from kids. You can never have a prenup with your kids. You can have a prenup with your wife will protect you, but you can never have a uh, an agreement with the kids. It's not gonna happen. So, so many men, they say, oh, I want a legacy this, a legacy that. They are signing a fake contract. The risk for having children is so much greater than the risk of getting married with a prenup. The men always focus on the marriage and don't focus on the kids. You guys have it backwards. You can get a contract which will protect you from the marriage. There is nothing you can do to protect you from these kids. Nothing. From past live streams with the lead attorney, he has mentioned before that you can be liable to pay child support for kids that are not even yours. If there's anyone who knows about child support cases on YouTube, you're listening to them right now. Men paying mothers for children that aren't even theirs. Getting into a relationship with a divorced single mother or a single mother seems to have a lot more liabilities than it is worth. I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't, but it is something to think about. And another crazy thought is, and that's not including when a man decides to do a paternity test onto his kids that he has had for years, with many situations and circumstances that we have known of these cases, where that man, even finding out through the paternity test that the kids are not his, he is still somehow on the hook by the courts and the legal system to be paying child support for those kids. It really is a dirty game out there. And ladies, step out from your solipsistic view and really empathize with what the average man is going through and what he has to calculate in his mind to initiate and begin a relationship with you. And guys, stay informed, get your knowledge that can help you avoid mistakes. Stay on the up and up and good luck out there, you flight savages. So like the late, great Kevin Samuel said, it is not impossible for you to find the man you want when you have a kid. 
But ladies, listen to me. You must over deliver in submission. You must over deliver in the areas of taking care of him. You must over deliver in the areas of femininity. You have to make that man proud. You have to be an outstanding lady to catch a man that you want, a high earner, a high value cat, not a bum with those children because you have to entice him and make it worth his while. And don't be hesitant to sign a prenuptial agreement because nobody wants you to escound with what they have. What do you think about it? Let's get the, let's get the conversation cracking in the comments. Like and subscribe and do what you do. Boom. That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe, hit us up on all social media networks. And as always, ask yourself one burning question. Can you handle the tip? We're out. We found true happiness.